Hey, welcome back. Let's now pad out this one page website with a contact section because obviously you want the user to contact you. I could use a completely blank or fresh section and container, or I could just duplicate one from above. I'm going to be lazy and just duplicate one from above. And then I'm going to kill away all of these blocks that we currently have here. So we just have one block. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the icon list and the member as well, because I don't really need them to be there. By the way, you are still viewing the original team section here. Here's the new one that has nothing in it. I'm going to rename this and I'm going to get rid of the block as well. So now we just have a section and container. Let's go and add in a contact form. So I'm going to go here and type in form, make sure we're on the container. And there we go. We get a form. Now, this form at the moment, if you can see here, um, does definitely need some styling doing to it. But what I really want to focus on is how do we create the form? So. Let's just focus very firstly on the fact that this section, because it's duplicated, is going to have some layout. It's also 8080 padding on the top and bottom because we duplicated. Now then, this container isn't just going to contain our form. It is also going to have some wording to the left hand side, just to again kind of provoke feelings of interest of wanting to contact us. OK, that being said, though, this form in itself is kind of as big as it needs to be at the moment. I'm going to go into my layout for the form and I'm going to say make this be a 450. Let's go back over to our fields. We've got name, email and we got message. Maybe you want to put a phone number field in. Well, you can hit the plus sign over here and then just pick from one of these items here. Number, URL, checkbox, select. What I'm going to do, though, imagine that you were now trying to get interest over what does anybody want? Because we've said there are three services, web design, SEO, page performance. So let's go and add in a checkbox. OK, and I'm going to name this. What are you interested in? I'm going to get rid of the placeholder name because that's not really needed. And now we're going to add in our options. So I've put in my options one per line. Uh, you can see what they are there over there. And and I'm going to minimize that. By the way, though, all of these fields, you could say if they are required or not. Have a think about if you want to implement that. And I'm now just going to rearrange this to kind of sit over there. So we have name, email, what are you interested in? And we've got a message box. I'm going to go to the message, though, and I'm going to increase the height of this and just make it be 200. So we got a bit more height over there because I am going to add some further content to the left and I might come back and refine this. One of the other things you can do is where we got the name field, for instance, I could go over here and make this be 50. And if I was to go over to the email field, I could also make this be 50 as well. So now they are kind of side by side. That's, of course, assuming that someone's not going to have a really long name or email. So I would probably say leave that blank or you might want to rearrange it and go for, I don't know, 40, 60 or something like that. It does depend on the width of your estate and where you've put your form. I'm just going to go to my container and I'm just going to pop this in the middle so you can see it a little bit better there. If we go back to the form here. Um, we can decide if we do want to show the labels or not. I mean, I often feel that if you are already got like the items in here, do you really need to see it? I'm just going to change the placeholder typography. OK, and I'm going to make it be a bit of a darker color there, like uh, something like that, rather than the faint one that we had before. Again, you could change the font, you know, the weighting and all of that, just so you can see it. Can you see what I mean, though, here by like, you know, if you've got the labels, name, your name, email, your email, it feels a little, and it adds on, like it, it increases the height of your form as well. You can also change the alignment, but this will only affect the button. So center over there. I mean, uh, these aren't really going to do much unless you've got more buttons in there, which you haven't. But there you go. I mean, I, I would probably say it's kind of in terms of how we've set things up with the buttons mainly being left aligned. That's going to work perfectly fine. I'm not really going to mess around with that. We go to the submit button, though. Here's where we can now change the text and change the size of the button over here. So we've got the small, which is really small. We got large and then we've got the extra large as well. I'm going to go for the large because that kind of looks OK. We're going to go to the typography and I'm going to go for a white font. And no, we don't. We're going to go for a black font and we're going to pick uh, the background color made it 1.6 REM. I've made it uppercase weight of 700 and 0.2 REM on the letter spacing just to move it out a bit. And it's kind of following the style of the um, the other buttons that we've got above as well. Now, what you don't get here is the padding feature. So you get margin, but you don't get the padding, which, mm, you know, it would have been nice if the padding was in there as well. Um, because, you know, you might want to make it a particular size. Now, you could do that with some CSS, but 
If you just want to keep it simple, just use the functionality you got over here for defining your sizes. Now, if we go to actions, here's where it's going to now decide on well, what happens when you hit send, where's it going to go? And if I go to email here, you can change the subject. So I've put in our email address and I'm going to say this is the email address it's come from as well. But this is the bit that's a little bit important. Down here, when you have rep reply to email address, it currently defaults to the email submitted via the form. I would leave that as it is, okay? Because say you now use the form to contact me and I hit reply, I want it to go back to you in a way. So I would say leave that as it is. If you start to mess around with that, if you know what you're doing, fine, go with it. But I would leave it as it is. If we imagine we've got this form all set up, okay, and we were okay with it, right, you know, in terms of how it looked. What I now want to do is add in some further content to the left of it. So what I'm going to do is go to my hero section over here, and I'm going to pick up um, the wording over here. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go over to my container here, and I'm just going to hit uh, paste, and I'm going to go back to my hero section, and I'm going to pick up this text as well. And I'm going to go over to my container for my contact section. And again, I'm just going to hit paste. That's a really quick and dirty, easy way of just getting things kind of like in place in a way. Now, I've got a container. I've got a form, a made heading and a basic text. I want both of these to be on the left of the form. So I'm going to just rearrange items like this. However, the problem I've got now is that... Um, if I want the main header and the form to be on the left hand side, I'm going to have to mess around a bit. Now, the easy way to ensure that things sit exactly where I want them to sit is for me to go in add in a block. So on the container, I'm going to drop in a block like this and I'm now going to move the block here and I'm going to move the heading into the block and the main text into the block as well. Stay with me. OK, we're not done yet. The main heading is currently using the main heading class that we used in a previous video. I'm not going to activate it. I'm just going to change the text, change the basic text as well. Again, Bo, if you're wondering why have you just duplicated and used again, because I've already styled them for the desktop and let's just pretend the tablet as well and the mobile, by just changing the content and the color of the text without affecting the class, it makes my job so much more efficient. I've got the block and I am going to go in and make the width of this block. If we go to the layout, be uh, 450 as well. So we can see what's happening there. But at the moment, everything is kind of on top of one another. Quite simply, because the container is still using the columnar approach. I say columnar, but I meant to say column. We're now going to pop this in as a row like that. Now, obviously, this is all in the center and I want to add in a bit of spacing because this is 1000 pixel in width and both of these are 450. So let's just go in and do space between. That is now going to be basically going out to the 1000 pixel width. The problem is, though, we have a bit of a gap. It's not looking so good, is it? We need to fill that up with something so we could use loads of other features or really simply go to our details section. We have an image over here, which is that one. I'm just going to copy that, go over to my block and I'm going to hit paste. That image will now appear below the items. But now the image is too big, OK? And this is where you might want to play around a little bit with what you've currently got. First thing I'm going to do is click the image and pick a different one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change this image to be a cover like that. And nothing really has changed at the moment. If I now go to style, if I go over here to the height, if I was to now make this be, uh, let's just go with 200 for now. Can you see what it did there? Let me just undo that. There's the image. If I now, let's just go for 100 just to get you the real full effect. Can you see there? It hasn't stretched. The image still kind of looks okay. If I go back to the content for this though and I take that off, the image is now stretched. So this is where if you go for like the cover approach, it kind of works well for you. So I'm going to go back over here and I am going to make this be a about 210 is just about right there and that works okay it's now fitting in and it kind of fits within the area now if I just go and view this there we have our form and that is now working okay this gap over here is looking quite big however that is because it's got you know the 80 from over this section and the 80 from the top for this section okay but it's kind of okay I mean that is working fine but how does it look in the dreaded mobile? We're well, not the dreaded mobile. I say that as a joke, really. Let's just make the width of this be 378. Let's go down to our contact section. 
Remember, it's brought over the margins and the paddings that we had originally. So we can now see we've got our wording, we've got our imaging over there. I mean, this is where, you know, you might want to make an option now with, do you still want to have that image there? So this is where I'm going to hide this image on the mobile. Let's go to the image. Remember, we are on the mobile. We are on the style. I'm going to go down to where it says miscellaneous and I'm going to say none. That image will now not display on the mobile. Okay, that's how easy it was. We just scroll down now, we have our form like that, and we have a nice bit of wording. It's really easy for us to do a contact form, and then we just have a form, right? But you could add in another message as well because they've come to the contact form, and you just want to remind them look, here, we're here, we're here to work with you. You know, we're here to do more. I only had three services mentioned, but hey, general message, collaboration as well. That's how simple and easy it is to do. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time for the pain. Let the grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring. Go out in a bag